Hey, hey, everybody, what's going on? Sorry I'm a little late. Whew, been filming, been working all night. Um, had a client this morning that is super stressed out about what's going on. So we're all stressed out, and the exercise that you do is going to release those feel-good hormones. Dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, all of those things that your body needs to feel good throughout the day. So let's feel good about what we're doing today. Okay, this is all about balance. So we're gonna do a squat hold. We're gonna do a single leg side reach. We're gonna do hip rotations in and out. Whoop, had my hip pop already. A single leg balance. And then we're gonna do a lunge hold, okay? So we're gonna warm up first. Here we go. You know what we start with, touching our toes and then opening everything up. So feet are shoulder width apart in my baggy sweats today. In between those legs and open up. And I want you to look underneath your legs at the wall behind you. That's three. Let's go. Four. Five. Get it. Six. Open up that core. I'll never tell you to open it up except during this time. I still have bed head. <laughs> Get up at four o'clock in the morning and forget to do my hair before I come on live. Sorry guys, I really don't care. <sighs> Last one. Let's go into a squat reach, okay? So squat, reach to the sky. Squat, I really want you to feel that pull in that oblique. Touch that tummy, make sure it's engaged. Rib cage is locked up on this. Four, squeeze, six, Seven, eight, get it, nine, and ten. Such a beautiful day out there today. Let's do a squat, open palm twist. Squat back, open palm twist. Make sure those knees are behind the toes. You're doing a hip hinge like you're shutting the door with your rear end. And four. You're going to look back on this one. Pull that rib cage in. Pull that lower pelvic floor in. Here we go, guys. Elbows in and soft. Whew. Calisthenics, the best thing in the world for the body. Whew. Shake it out. Let's do some step jacks, okay? Or jumping jacks. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna change that. Let's do some predator jacks. So, predator jacks are down low in a squat. You never come up. So if you can't do this, you can step out, but you need to stay in that squat and you're squeezing your shoulder blades when they come back stay low 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 shake it out shake it out let's do some arm work crisscross those arms in front Squeeze, 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 squeeze that chest. Pull, 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 pull. Nice moves. My arms are fired up right now. I've been doing a bunch of push-up challenges. I keep getting challenged. So my arms are fried. And we're gonna go to the back, back, switch. Up and down, up and down. Keep that body moving. Squeeze, your arms should be frying right now. We're gonna go overhead here in two seconds. Squeeze, squeeze, and up. Shoulders are relaxed, and you're pressing side to side. Nice, even moves. I don't know if you can see my hands. I think they're out of the picture. Squatting down for that. Get a little butt work. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Okay, balance moves, here we go. A squat hold, this is kind of like a chair pose. Get those feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna press back and hold. If you feel like you can do chair pose, by all means, bring those arms up. You're gonna get more of a workout with this. Back is flat, pelvic bone is tucked under, knees are behind the toes. And, and this is 20 to 30 seconds. You can do it for a minute if you're able to hold it. <sighs> Keep breathing. <sighs> Three, two, nice 
rise, deep breath, last one. Rise up, drive through the heels. Okay, we are gonna do a single leg side reach. I'm using a bench, okay? You don't have to use the bench. You can actually, sorry, whoops. You can actually, for the single leg side reach, soft knee, you're standing straight up, hips are straight, you're reaching to the side very low and back down. Okay, sorry, I've lost my balance. And you're holding this, holding, holding, holding for 20 seconds to a minute. Okay, hold, 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 hold. Nice deep breath. If you're able to do it on a bench or a step, by all means, that's another great way. Bosu ball, Bosu ball. Get ready to drop this leg in five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna show you on the bench how you do this. I think I'm gonna be cut off here. So you're gonna step up. And this is like going up a stair, so you're not going to step far. I'm going to get right up on that step. Press through your heel, bottom toe, lift up. Get your balance on that chair. Get those hips or on that bench. Hips are straight. Leg is out to the side and holding, okay? I'm fully cut off here, but we're holding for 20 seconds. The weight's in the heel. This is great for your balance. Keep going, hold that pose. Whew, kind of like that my head's cut off there. <laughs> Hair's kind of wild. <laughs> Eyes are puffy. I ate some Chinese food last night and boy, did that upset my stomach. Holy cow. It's amazing what, when I mean, you don't eat stuff and then you do, how it affects your body. Keep holding, you got four, three, two, and one. Bring that foot back. Step down really strong, move it out of the way. Again, you don't have to use a step. You can do it straight on the floor. We're gonna do a single leg hip rotation. I want full range of motion on this hip rotation. Your hips move in and out. Nice balanced move, hands are together in prayer, soft knees into the center and out. Full range of motion, full range of motion. Keep that knee bent. We're doing 20 on each leg. Can hear those hips pop in my body is just beat. We've been doing so many workout videos. I can't wait to get them all online for y'all. Very exciting time for us. Whew. Keep going. We've got almost, here we go. That's 10. We got 10. Whoops, sorry, other leg. <laughs> going crazy. We're doing 20, right? And then we do out the opposite direction. Nice, even balance. Make sure your hips are facing forward. Nice, even balance. Full range of motion, core is fully engaged here. Rib cage is zipped up. Deep breath. All the way around, full range. Last one, best one, here we go. Okay, we're gonna go the opposite direction. So, we're starting backwards and coming forward. Two, pull that pelvic floor in. This is so great for our hips. We hold so much in our hips. Loosen them up. Mine are popping like crazy right now. And six, seven, eight. Keep those hips forward, chin and chest are up. Nine, 10, and opposite. Here we go. Whoop, off balance. Send some love to the balance muscles. That's your core. And here we go, Whew. two, three, nice soft moves. Recovery work is really important. This stuff is to really get your balance back. A lot of us don't really work on balance, we take it for granted. Hey guys, what's going on? I see people popping in. Whoo! Last three, I'm burning. Two, one, whoo, thank my body for being here today. Here we go, we're gonna do a reverse lunge hold. So you're gonna start in that starting position. We are not on a balanced beam. So I don't want you going straight back with that leg. Hip width apart when you do this. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see the back leg is straight. So you're sliding back into that lunge. It's a low, deep lunge. 
pelvic floor is engaged, squeezing that glute, everything is straight up, you're not leaning forward, back is flat, weights in the heel and the back toe. And you're holding and breathing, nice deep breath in, sink into that hip, sink into it, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, Keep breathing. This is super awesome. We're almost there. In five, four, three, two, and one. Look forward, press forward with the heel, push off the toe. Ready for the other side? Again, we're not on a balance beam. That leg is going straight behind you. Toe is up and flexed, weights in the heel. Knee does not go over that front toe. Pull in that core, zip that rib cage. Hold that pose. Sink into it with your breath. I'm gonna press back a little further. Really get into that hip. Loosen those toes up so they're not feeling it. You should feel this in the top part of your quad, your hamstring, your hip flexor, all of it. The IT band is at play here. So are those adductors. Reshaping that glute into long lean muscles. That's what these things do as well. These stretches and holds, they help you have long lean muscles, not bunched up. And five, four, three, two, and. Pull up and forward, strong, strong, strong. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little core work right now. I'm gonna use my ball. You can do these on the floor, you don't have to use a ball, okay? But I'm gonna use my ball because I want a deeper workout. And we are gonna start with our feet flat on the floor. Your thumbs are on your cheekbones, up underneath them, your hands are back on the back of your head. You're sitting up straight, and this is just a sitting crunch. So we're gonna do 30 of these, okay? You can do this for a minute and just bring your core to exhaustion, and it's gonna pull everything in super tight. So rib cage is in, everything's tight, here we go. Bring that knee up, make those elbows go back out to flat. Opposite arm, opposite knee. You can do this in a chair, you can do this on a couch. You can do it on the floor. On the floor, it looks a little different. Keep going. Nice, bring that back elbow back out. It's working that rib cage. Bring that knee in, really thrust it in. And five, four, three, two. Here we go, I'm gonna do one more. Ugh. Core, there we go, that's one core. I'm gonna do another one. You can also do this on the ground. Either sitting on the ground, which is a little bit more difficult, you need to lean way back so that you're counterbalanced if you're doing this on the ground. Or you're laying on your back with your legs up and tabletop to begin with, then you're gonna bring them down and you're gonna scissor, okay? So scissor, I want these close to the floor so that I'm getting a full Extension, deeper than what I would if I'm sitting on the floor, pulling through my core, counterbalances backwards, whoops, kicked myself. Here we go, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Keep going guys, these are gnarly. You should be burning in your hip flexors, your lower pelvic floor, super deep. Don't stop here, we're gonna go right into just a knee pulse. Almost there, three, two, one, and then we're going to a knee pulse. So we're just pulsing in and out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, pull it in, five, four, three, two, last one, best one. Awesome, got your triple thread on your core. 
Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day. Send out the good word to everyone. I love you all. Keep going strong.